Now we're going to go over how to send audio from Studio B, we're in Studio B now, to the control room. And we're going to do that using this ABM unit here at the desk. So the first thing we want to do is take our wireless lav kits. This is one of them. And we want to distinguish between the send and the receive. So the send pack is the one that the anchor is going to be wearing. You can distinguish that by the mic line input on the top. And it's also the one that has the mute switch. So this is the one that the anchor is going to be wearing with the microphone and the receive unit for the wireless lav. The receive unit says AF out at the top. So we take our eighth inch to XLR cable. That looks like this. One, in, one side is eighth inch, the other side is XLR. And we're going to plug this into the receive pack and screw that in. Okay. So over here at the ABM unit, I'm going to drape this cable over the top of it and send it to the back. Unfortunately, the inputs are in the back of this box, so I have to go underneath the desk and plug this in. So I'm going to go underneath and plug that into one of the inputs. So now I'm going to take my XLR cable and plug it into one of the inputs. In this case, we're going to input one. Now we can go back to the top. All right, so now back at the desk here, the AVM unit, we want to make sure that it's on. There's a switch at the far right here. I'm just going to flip that switch. The little power light comes on. It does its startup sequence. And once these all turn off, that means it's ready for use. So input channel one is here. And all we need to do is turn up the gain on this. We don't need to play around with any of the other buttons or switches. So we just need to make sure that it's at an appropriate level. So once you have an anchor speaking into the corresponding send unit, you should be able to see a signal here. You should see that little green light turn on. And then back in the control room, we can send that signal into the audio mixer. So back in the control room, we have the corresponding receive unit for the ABM. It says uh, output here. And if, we get, if we're getting a signal from Studio B, we should see this signal light turn on for whatever channel we're plugging into in Studio B. So the only thing we want to keep an eye out, is, eye out for is to make sure that this is set to mic level. We want to send mic level over to the mixer. So in general signal, the general signal flow of it is from Studio B to the control room, and then from the control room it goes to the patch bay, and from the patch bay it goes over to the mixer. And this is where we can do all of our individual mixing for each of the individual channels, each of the individual anchors. And then this uh, audio gets sent over to the recorder, so it all gets recorded at once. So the last thing we want to do is when the show is completely over, when we're all done, uh, we want to make sure to turn off the input module in Studio B at the desk so that these uh, units aren't on constantly. In order to make sure that we're getting a signal from the anchor's um, wireless transmitter to the receiver, we need to make sure that the receivers or the receiver and transmitter are both set to the same frequency. So first we want to make sure that they're both in the same frequency range because sometimes they get mixed up. So this one's frequency range A, this one is also frequency range A. So they are both compatible. And next thing we want to do is make sure that the uh, sent unit, the transmitter, is off, the one that the anchor is going to be wearing. Let's turn that off. And over at the receiver, we go down to the menu and go to Easy Setup. And I'm going to scan a new list. So this is going to run through all of its available frequencies and see which one of them um, has the least amount of noise so that we can use that frequency to get the clearest signal from the anchor to, to the AVM unit. This might take a while. It's almost done. There it is. All right, so once it's done, it should tell us, um, give us a default setting. So bank five has 12 frequencies free. And I think it has 10 banks that you can select from. Oh, lots of banks. Let's just go with the default one. So bank 5 has 12 frequencies. I'm going to select that one. The first one is fine. And now we can use that frequency. So we're going to use right now 542.900. So I can turn my transmitter back on. And then in the menu, I'm going to go down to tune. Sorry, advanced tune and make sure that it's set to that same frequency, 542 
0.900. Oh, it automatically tries to go down. Okay, 542.900. And if all goes well, if we look back at the receive unit, we should see the RF bar all the way up, meaning it's getting a signal from this. And if we have the microphone plugged into the send pack, we should also see the um, audio feed on the receive unit.